This is the Sauer Sunstrand rotary position sensor 5 volt DC 90 degrees. And these are used on a number of John Deere and associated equip, um, machines. It's a position sensor, obviously, because it rotates, and that will give you the position of a boom or a lever or a conveyor or a door or anything. Anything that moves um, on a hinge or potentially rotates can be measured by this this device okay so uh, the, the first thing is it's a Hall effect sensor okay and the Hall effect sensor I've already discussed in the previous video on Hall effect sensors so all you really need to know is that these are the magnets okay so these shiny doohickeys right here these are the magnets and these magnets have a, a flux field going between here between these two poles it's not particularly strong, but it's strong enough. Okay? And then obviously as we rotate the shaft, we rotate the magnets. So you can pretty much understand that as we rotate the magnets, the direction of the magnetic flux is going to change. This is the actual Hall effect chip. And all of these things are there to control what's happening and to adjust the signal and vary the signal and amplify the signal and I mean these are your amplifiers, resistors, um, all there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, the slots, if you notice there are slots instead of um, holes, that's because the, the it can be calibrated, right? So they calibrate it, they zero it out, they put it in a jig, they zero it and then they calibrate it when the numbers are right they torque the screws down and uh, obviously those are the grounds. There are three wires. Red is for the positive, and uh, black is for ground, and white is for the signal. So it's very simple how it works because uh, all we're doing is that we're changing the angle at which the flux field cuts across this chip. Okay, and that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. There's really nothing to go wrong in here unless something externally happens here. There's really nothing to go wrong on the board. There's not a, it's very stable. It's surface mount technology. It's all very well soldered. This is very robust stuff. But if you'll notice the bottom here, there are a couple of things that you should pay attention to before you go around and start um, installing these or installing new ones. The first thing is, is when you put them together, there's a hole in here. Okay? And that hole allows moisture and atmosphere and everything in there. And I'm sure that they put that in there for a reason. And some engineer said, well, that's a good idea. We need to be able to let water get out. Well, the bad thing is it also lets water get in. Uh, and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. This is also not a hermetically sealed or well sealed uh, um, whatever the heck's called, <laughs> uh, closure, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, and, and if you look here also, you'll see that the wires, um, the wires don't really uh, provide any type of seal at all because they just slide through there. So these are open and you can tell by looking that there's been some corrosion activity in here as well. So if you look at this, here's a pretty stable surface mount board with a very, very, very stable and robust um, chip with two magnets that are about as, as, you know, as simple as can be. There's a shaft that rotates and then you've got a housing or enclosure that's not watertight. Before you, before you install this on the machine, when it's brand new out of the box, the first thing I would do is I would put something on here to seal these wires. I would use silicone or I would use epoxy um, or, or something. I mean spit is better than nothing really. Um, I would probably also open this up, spray this card with silicone spray. Believe it or not, I'm a big believer in that and that will tend to remove a lot of the possibility of moisture in there. So I would seal this up 
and I would seal the screws and I would seal these wires and I would seal around the the the, the seam here and um, I would spray the crap out of this area up here with silicone spray and I would I would do everything I could to harden it before I installed it because quite frankly I think the biggest thing that this has to worry about is is environmental uh, exposure so bottom line is there's really nothing in here to break so uh, a, a desire on your part to replace it is probably simply due to the fact that you're not quite sure what's going on and therefore you you feel compelled to replace the part